All right, I've had some questions and comments of videos of how to adjust the gas block on this Palmetto State Armory 6.5 Creedmoor AR-10, and I just want to kind of show you what, what is what. There's basically two screws. You see the one right there and the one right there. They use an Allen, uh, and what it is is this is a lock, so this, this locks against the threads of that screw. So to adjust, you break it open just a little bit, just take pressure off the threads here, and then you insert it there and you turn it right to close off the flow of gas and open it up counterclockwise to uh, add more gas. Now, and then when you're all done, you just lock it back up by turning that screw. So once you're done there, that just puts pressure this here, that screw just puts pressure on the threads here. I think it's a brass tip, at least the ones I've taken apart before. Inside there is just a piece of brass that kind of smushes against the threads here just so this doesn't walk on you. But pretty simple. They leave enough room in the rail there, easy access from here. It's close enough to the end of this rail to get in from this side. But basically, the I'm not sure the exact way, but the way I've always done it is to kind of leave it where it is, put uh, one round in the mag at a time, fire the gun, make sure it locks back, and then slowly close this off. I do probably a quarter turn at a time. So from you know 12 o'clock to three o'clock at a time, I'm closing it off, retightening it, shooting it again. You're gonna get to the point where the gun doesn't cycle. It'll short stroke on you. So it'll, it'll shoot it, it'll extract, it'll go out, but it won't lock on the mag. So then once you found that point, then I just back open it up, quarter of a turn, or uh, I'm sorry, an eighth of a turn. So instead of three o'clock, I bring it back to 130 and then shoot again. And you're just gonna find that sweet spot there where it functions reliably and locks the mag back. Once you find that point, I typically will go open just a little bit more just to make sure you have enough gas for when things aren't ideal. Um, you don't want to find out later that it isn't. What I also do is with with magazines, or not sorry, not magazines, with grips like this uh, Bravo company that has a, a storage compartment in it, I'll just throw the Allen wrench in there. So that way you can uh, do it in the field and not worry about it. But that's pretty much it. Just unlock the front, adjust the side, when you adjust it, then relock it in the front and test and check, test and check. If you add a suppressor, redo it. If you change ammo significantly, redo it. But it's just a playing, playing around kind of thing. So pretty easy once you get the hang of it.